Recapping a night of fashion from the Dillard Spring Fashion Show. Our team of style experts are here with us today highlighting all the big scenes. Our next big scene that we're going to tell you about that was on the runway is black, white, and technicolor. Kirby and Catherine are back to recap that one. You know, black and white, always easy, right? I feel yeah. like that's always like a simple statement making, but it went from black and white to these very bright, bright colors. Right. So, you know, black and white is considered a spectator color. It's yeah. something that's been in forever at the racetracks. Black and white, navy and white. So if you're you're like tater color. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. So I'm going to spec think of yourself yeah. with a pair of binoculars yeah. on, on the uh, track side. So it's something that will always be in fashion. It's mm. always looks elegant, but um, one of the things that as that I took from that scene and I don't know if you did too Catherine, but the fact that for me, I like a little pop of color. Yeah. So maybe black and white with some of those more vibrant shades yeah. that they showed in that same maybe scene. Maybe some red. Yeah. Some right. red, maybe right. some of like, the. I'm all about like the red this year. green jacket, yeah. you know, a pop of that would mm -hmm. be great. But mm -hmm. isn't Although I, that elegant? And I do like, though, that since white and black are such neutral palettes and templates, you really can go all out with the embellishments, right? Mm -hmm. So a big bow, big ruffles, they, seem, they yeah. seem even more extravagant when you've got that neutral palette. Yes. So there's nothing else distracting from the embellishment on the piece. And I think that, that there was a lot of that on the trend last night. There's a beautiful black dress that might come up here that had this huge bow in the back. Ooh. Gorgeous, very simple, yeah. very classic, really elevated derby look. I think if you really want whatever you're wearing on your head, if it's whether it's a fascinator, a hatinator, or, or a wide brim hat, if you really want that to pop out, then the, the more simple, the mm -hmm. more monotone outfit you wear. Well, we just saw a look too. I just love that they popped. Look at the like, fringe. Look at the I love fringe. the fringe. Right, so it's black, white in our theme, but that touch of fringe combining a couple of our scenes was really cool to see. And there's some more fringe there. And see, even she's having the, fun. Even some of the shoes, just yes. that provided, like there, they're neutral, but I've seen, saw some on the runway that were just wonderfully bright florals and colors that kind of brought out a lot. Now we um, go to the Technicolor. Technicolor mm -hmm. scene. And by Technicolor, like how, how do you know you've crossed into Technicolor? And how do you know how to pick the shade that's gonna be good with your skin tone? Well, we talked about that yesterday. Pink, I think, is the color that we're seeing more often, mm -hmm. and particularly on the runway last night, and it ran the gamut. It was like that really pretty pale pastel pink all the way to that vibrant, vibrant pink. So I think really anything that matches your skin tone is yeah. probably the right choice, and I don't think you can go too far. It's Derby 150, I mean, lean into it, yeah. right? Yeah, I think all the milliners that I've spoken with since January <laughs> <laughs> have been saying that pink is the hottest color mm -hmm. for um, Derby 150, and it's every single hue of pink. So right. you find the one that works on you, and what yeah. does that take? It takes trying things on. Trying it on. Mm -hmm. Well, it's your test run. Your test run, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just seeing it's if it works theme. for you, yeah. right? Yeah. I love that she had on the silver boots there. They with, look like, fun. The floral. And that those would be so great fun. and comfortable at the track, right. I would mm -hmm. think, but I might mm -hmm. do a test run on those too. <laughs> but see this color of green, isn't that something? Yeah. Uh, pistachio green. Pistachio, is, yep. and, and And this well, lilac, this lavender lilac is also really pretty as well. And even you could see a mixing of those Technicolors. There was a couple of scenes where you've got that dress with a lot of different color going on and then a hat that was in these contrasting Technicolor, right? Mm -hmm. And it looks great. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely looked wonderful. Or even the hat girls, they did a lot of hats this year that either had the graffiti Technicolor or just had just a variety of different colors, not just not just what they've they've done in the past. The woman there. in the jacket there, yeah. the hat that she's wearing, the fascinator that she's wearing mm -hmm. is it's along the lines of, I'm trying to find one of them, but see how all those flowers, there it is. Mm -hmm. They just, it's like it's blooming off the top mm -hmm. of your head. It, it's really, Spring it's, is blooming. It's like a garden yeah. on your head, which is kind of fun, you know? Fun on a headband. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, and, and again, that Technicolor look or that black and white look, I think as you plan your week, which so many of us are going to the track or going to multiple occasions, it's a way to kind of insert those trends mm -hmm. every single day. I got to tell you, though, I would be terrified if I wore, like, white, right? Like, I yes. know... Yeah. Talk about a test yep. run. Like, I need to see what, I, what am I not spilling right. Right, on this beautiful outfit. <laughs> right. This jacket I have on, I wore to. I want to wear that. But I do too, but it would make that into a mess. Covered in right. coffee. <laughs> I want coffee on yeah. it. Because oh we goodness. need a lot of coffee, like after Our makeup, <laughs> right? Like yes. you have to be really careful and pack some Clorox wipes. But so maybe the white with the black underneath. But see how her, that that black fascinator just yeah. with the white popped because was really everything else was very was very understated. But mm -hmm. I think it takes, and this is one of the looks I have, think will come out wide. So classic. This I is love one that. of the looks that I thought was just really really pretty because she had some color on her feet. Yep. 
in the nice chunky heel, might mm -hmm. we add, but she also had, everything else just was very elegant. Mm -hmm. And I think if that's the look you're going for, this black and white trend or a navy and white trend is a, is a great classic. way to go. If you don't want to step out into a trend mm -hmm. that's too obvious and you want to be timeless mm -hmm. and you want to look back and say, yeah, that was mm -hmm. classy. It was pulled together yeah. in a way, like you said.